What's up guys? The time has finally come that I get to give you a house tour. This has been a work of art for the last, oh, 14, 15 months, and I finally get to say it's done, and I'm gonna give you a tour of every inch of my new house on top of the mountain. So, come with me, let's go. What's up guys? Welcome to my house. Come check out the foyer. Probably one of my favorite parts of my house is the water feature. Now, I gotta tell you, this is the beginning of checking out my house and it had to have a wow factor. So I decided to get a 14,000 pound stone, drill a hole through it to pump water through. It's a black rock that we got, not in Utah, had it delivered after the walls were already up, so it was kind of a pain to get it in here. Cemented it into the ground and then put water around it. And it's my favorite sound throughout the house. Just listen to that. Oh, it's the greatest. Now, as you know, I'm 300 pounds. So of course, one of my favorite parts of my house is the kitchen. Come check out our kitchen. Now, most people have one refrigerator. I had to have two because I love food. Check this out. With the touch of my hand, fridge opens and bam, fridge number one. Now I'm a huge fan of black and white. And the majority of the reason for that is because I'm colorblind. Most people don't know that. But for me, black and white is a big deal. So we went with one of the craziest slabs of rock that we could find, not in Utah, put it down here on the counter and up here behind the sink. The sink, best part of the kitchen, is all touch. Now come on over and let me show you the other refrigerator. Also touch and hidden, check this out. And yes, I love my drinks. Now, I didn't get this big not being able to cook, so I got a very, very big stove, hibachi style, where I can cook for I mean, I've cooked up to probably 30 people meal right here on this stove. Now, most people, when they see the house, they see the kitchen, but they never see the pantry because it's hidden and it's kind of a secret. Come check out the pantry. Another touch for both. These open. Boom, come back here. Now, this is where all the food's at and my very favorite, all of the candy. And yes, I like candy. Now my favorite candy, because everybody always asks when they come back here, is hot tamales. And as you can see, I got half of these only a little bit eaten. The hot tamales always has to be filled probably every six weeks because I love to finish a meal with some hot tamales. So that's the hidden pantry. And I gotta tell you, one of my favorite parts for my wife is the oak wall that we put in. Now everything's black and white and concrete and steel, which you can kind of see throughout the whole entire house. But we had to add some wood to warm it up a little bit. And in the middle of that is the couch, which as you can see fits about 20 people in the middle of our living room with my favorite spot, 90 inch TV. Now it doesn't look that big up there on the wall, but it is 90 inches and underneath, my personal favorite for my daughters in the wintertime is the fireplace. When I have guests over for pool days, we have to have a bathroom for the pool guests. So here's number one bathroom. And as you can see again, I love black and white. So everything in here is black and white. Now, I'm a big man and I wanted to show you my office and my bathroom on the main level. This is bathroom number two, and where most of the guests find themselves when they're here. Now next to the bathroom is my office. And yes, it's a mess, but come on in. This is my office where, of course, again, everything's black and white because that's the color I like. This is where I do my calls for Limitless Society. Most of you guys should know by now, I have a group called Limitless Society where we help people become millionaires. 
This is where that happens. Every week we have a phone call and this is the stage. Now you guys know I have four daughters and a beautiful wife and we gotta have a great place to eat. So I had a custom steel and concrete table made just for the kitchen where we can all kind of sit around. And of course, I had to have a 200 pound king and queen chair at the end of each of the tables. And yes, this is 200 pounds. Now, as we exit the kitchen back into the foyer, we gotta go downstairs. My house is almost a thousand yards of concrete all around the house, almost 20 feet of concrete walls. So as we come down to the garage, kind of the basement, you gotta check out my safe. But first, I do have to tell you, I have a few vehicles. Um, this is only, you know, one or two of them, and I'm gonna show you all of my vehicles here soon, but I do wanna say this. This is my daily driver. It's a Platinum F450 with a 12-inch lift on 40-inch wheels, well, 40-inch tires and 26-inch wheels, and my new purchase, the AMG GTR, which it was kind of scary. I didn't even think I was gonna fit in that thing, and I bought it side unseen. But that's not why we're here. Come check out the safe. Now this was completely surrounded with about 16 inches of concrete and metal. So I figured why not make it a safe? Put this huge Liberty safe door in and then got Gallo Tech to come in and give me all the wall decorations to be able to kind of make it look the way that it looks now. And then I love it. We got a dehumidifier in here to make sure that nothing has any moisture because you know what that does to your guns. Um, but check these out. Now there's a lot of guns and I wanna show you this one because this is the most important weapon to me. This is a gold plated Tommy gun that, I, that was actually gifted to me. And if you look really, really closely, you can actually see engraved in it is a picture of my daughters and myself. And then throughout the entire gun is the tattoos that are all over my body. And as uh, most people who know me know, I believe very wholeheartedly in family over everything. And that's a tattoo that's on me. So this gun was a gift and it is absolutely priceless to me. All right, well, that's the uh, garage and kitchen and foyer. We're gonna head on up to the upstairs and show you the bedrooms. And by the way, the view only gets better as you go higher. So check out this exact same view, but on the second level. I'm gonna take you to only one bedroom besides mine. It's the guest bedroom. I have a lot of people stay with me often. And they're usually people that are really important to me, so I want them to have a good experience. So I built this room completely separate from the house. We did a California King with its own air conditioning and heat, and the whole room is surrounded in sound matting. So you can't hear anything. Once you shut this door, you can't hear a thing. Custom made door with a lock. Now, I want my guests to be really, really comfortable. So, as in a hotel, I make sure that I have lots and lots of robes for my guests, no matter what size they are, because I, I want them to be comfortable. They have their own bathroom with full shower and everything. I'm telling you, the guest room here is better than any hotel you'll ever go to. Something I'm not gonna do, unfortunately, is show you guys my daughter's rooms. I'll just tell you they're here, but I will show you where they study and on the level that they live on. Now we come across the catwalk over to their area and my daughters have their own study room with their own cubbies and everything they need for school. Now this is the only area that I'm not gonna show you, but that's all of the bedrooms. There's five bedrooms for all the girls, all with their bathrooms and everything. I'm not gonna show the world that, but what I will show you is I had to give them their own deck with their own view. So come on out and check this out. Now I love turf. It's beautiful, it's clean, it's easy. So every single deck on my house has turf with a nice couch and a beautiful view. 
nothing better than this view. So this is where my daughters usually play throughout the day when they're here. Now it's the very best part of the house, my bedroom. Now, when you look at the house on the mountain, you'll see that it's actually built into the mountain. That's why we had to use so much concrete. But the very top level is completely dedicated just to the master bedroom. So come with me and I'm going to show you my master. With a touch of a button, I got blackout blinds, which is really, really crucial because this entire level, my master is all windows. So if you don't have blinds, you're definitely not sleeping. Now we're gonna go through this, but I have to tell you this, there is no greater view in this area than right here in this bedroom. Now, most people ask, what do you sleep on? I had a custom mattress and bed made that's 10 feet by 10 feet. As you can see, one of my daughters is hanging out watching a movie on it. I had to have a bed big enough for me, my wife, and for the four girls to come in, because you know if you have kids, they always want to spend time with you on the bed. This bed is 100% custom, and it is the best part of upstairs. Now, of course, by my wife's suggestion, all of the floors up here are radiant heat. So even though they're really big tile and they look cold, they actually are heated. And as per usual, she has her own closet and I have mine. Yes, this is just hers. And she wanted to have a washer and dryer in the closet, which makes life so much easier. So of course she's got a washer and dryer, her own set of mirrors. And as you roll through, you'll see my personal favorite part of showering every day, this ginormous shower, which is a steam room, a bathtub, and a shower with everything you can possibly think of completely surrounded in glass and as everybody asks the same question yes you can definitely see me shower if you look up here while i'm showering because i can open these windows and i like to watch the view while i'm here lastly is my closet yes this is all my clothes and all of my stuff i have everything laid out exactly the way that i want it with shoes hats church clothes winter clothes t-shirts and everything else and everything that's valuable to me is right there as most men know one of the most important parts of your home is your throne and my throne has a view every toilet in the house is a smart toilet and if you don't know what a smart toilet is you should figure it out they're heated they have a bidet they have a light on them they're wonderful now this is my personal sanctuary right here. This is where I come to relax every single night. We got turf all laid out perfectly. I have my Eagles perch here with a couch, two chairs if I wanna have conversations with, in my opinion, the greatest possible view somebody could have out of a master bedroom. Check out the view. As I told you, this is my sanctuary. It's where I recover, it's where it restores me. I want to show you something really, really important. Now, this is my restoration part of my house. I have a custom sauna that gets all the way up to 200 degrees, which I use every single night. Then from the sauna, I go directly into a custom made ice bath that keeps my water at 38 degrees. Yep, it's freezing. And in the winter time, of course, you have to have a hot tub. So we got a hot tub up here. And if all of this isn't good enough to help you restore yourself on a daily basis, we get to do it with that view. It's absolutely incredible. This is my favorite part to be at any time in anywhere right here. Now we're back downstairs to the main part of the house, which I love to host parties and parties usually start inside and go outside. So. I have these ginormous 15 foot by six foot sliding doors. So when I wanna have a party, guess what? I can open all this up and have a party all out here. And the best part of the party is that you can come on out here, take a seat, 
and serenade yourself with the sound of more water at my pond with an infinity edge. My daughters are huge gymnasts, so of course we had to have a trampoline. And I wanted one that wasn't out of the ground so when they fell off, they didn't fall a long ways. So we dug all the way down in, put the trampoline inside the ground, and this is where my daughters spend most of their time, right here on the trampoline. And I try to stay off of it because I don't want to break it. You guys have seen my house. You've seen everything that I did here. Now you got to go.